quick tutorial on this machine before this machine gets taken away from me. This is the White House uh, MG1 model. Deluxe automatic zigzag machine. Okay, threading. There's two spool holders right here. Why is that not in focus? There. Okay, so you put one right here. Turn on the machine. The on switch is right here. Right there. Okay, the machine is now on. The light is on. You're going to thread through here. You can just put it into a little hole or use the little wrapper. Okay. You're going to put it into this slot. See, right? That slot. Okay. And then you're going to go up until you go up and over that spring there. Do you see it's over that spring so when you pull down you'll see the tension. You'll go down, up again, into this little guy. Sometimes he's, sorry about that, I'm terrible at this. There you go. Sorry about this. I'm terrible filmer. Okay so this will go right through here. Down again and now you have this little loop-de-loop -loop. just go around the little loop-de-loop -loop. or just through it however you want to another loop-de-loop -loop. right here and the needle is placed with the back flat to this little thing so your opening is right here so you can see that the groove is to your right flat part is to your left so we will thread that bit There we go. All done. Okay. Bobbin. I'm going to reach in here. There's your bobbin. Bobbin is threaded like any other bobbin. Alright. I'm going to put my phone. Sorry, I don't have anybody to film. Okay. So I'm going to erase this where the thread is unrolling away from me. See that? Away from me. Okay. And so then I'm going to take my hook. This is your little hook inside your bobbin. And I'm going to put that in the opposite direction. So when this pops in, sorry, one hand side of threading. When this pops in, you want it to go against the hook. So this goes in. So when you lift, it should go against the hook. You see? So it makes it popping really easily into that little groove right there. Okay? So you've got it into the groove, and that's it. Now make sure you put it behind the bobbin, not in front of the bobbin because you will get it caught. Engage. One moment. There you go. My thread is behind my bobbin. It's behind my hand. I'm going to engage this with one hand, and that's going to hold your little bobbin in place. And we'll put it right here on this little shaft. And I'm going to make sure that it clicks in to where this part hits the groove. It's all the way in. That's it. My machine is now ready. You're going to lift your presser foot from the back. Usually put your thread under the needle, I mean under the foot, I'm sorry. Drop your presser foot when you have your foot. Okay, so let's take a piece of fabric. There we go. I'm gonna lift. Okay. And we can now sew. And she is set on straight stitch. Now, this is your regulator. This is short. This is long, simple. That's how long your stitches are going to be. There's the machine beautifully. We have a good clean stitch. Tension is altered here. Okay, there's your little bar. Usually tension is set at about three to four to make it pretty balanced. Okay, there we go. Nice clean stitch. All right, now. 
if you want to back tack, you hit the R, that is in reverse, the machine will go backwards. Then you continue to go forwards. Now let's engage the zigzag. This is going to determine your, oh, this has to be loosened. Loosen these, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Okay, let's put the position of our zigzag and then tighten these guys, sorry, in the right place, okay? All right, so that is the position, how wide I want my zigzag, all right? They're both tightened to hold that in place. There it is. That is your zigzag stitch. You want it tighter. Loosen it back up and tighten it back up. Oops. I'm going to do this. Apologies. It's very, very hard to do any of this with one hand. Oh my god. Both of these have to be in place for this to hold. Okay, now that's the widest stitch you're gonna get. There you go, okay. This is gonna control your uh, feed. It's gonna go up or down, just have them in the middle for it to feed. It's basically controlling your feed dog, so if you wanna do free sewing, your feed goes down, and the machine does not feed anymore. You basically can just move things around as you please. See how it gets stuck? So we don't want to do that. If you have something very thick and it's having trouble moving through, you want to go up. See, that helps the machine move things through. So we're balanced. Okay, and then the last thing on this, um, sorry, this needs to be in this little groovy. Again, hold on. Okay, see, in this little groove. Okay, now the bobbin winder, here we go. Okay. Bobbin winder is this little spool right here. Simply go down, engage this pressure tension disc right here. So we're gonna go, oh, sorry, but I can't get it without stopping the camera, there. Okay, there, we're going to put this into the tension disc. We're going to, you know, we're gonna just put it over this bobbin because I don't happen to have another one on me at this current moment. Okay, so down into the tension disc and let's just wind it around a couple times like this. All right, just to show you. And let's lock it, push this down and lock this in place. Okay. Now, in order for us, we could do this while we're sewing, okay. but if you want to do it without sewing, you want to loosen this. So hold your this and loosen it to the right. Sometimes you have to hold the pedal also so the whole thing doesn't move. Not the pedal, I'm sorry, the, the belt. So hold the whole mechanism. Um, I can't do it with one hand, but if you loosen it to the right, only this will work. And then you have to tighten it back up in order for the machine to sew. So that way you can just wind a bobbin. So we're not really gonna do that. Okay, and then when you're done, it's gonna pop up by itself, or you can just pop it up. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, oh, if you have cams. If you have cams while the zigzag is engaged, this does not work if the zigzag is not engaged, you put your cams in here. So basically, it will drive over the cam, and that's going to um, make your fancy stitches. I don't have any cams for this machine didn't come with it. So yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, post in the comments.